So Iran, uh, obviously, it's been a mess. Uh, if you've seen some of the videos, we talked about it, I think, on the last podcast on what is taking place is there, place there. I had a reaction video I did to it. But a few things that people need to know with Iran. You know, everybody lives their lives and does their own thing. But sometimes when you actually see what is really going on and what the climate in Iran is, you know, a lot of people left, right, center, it doesn't matter what it is. There are certain things that we all agree on when it comes down to men and women, okay? The basic, basic things that we all agree on where everybody should be treated equally when it comes down to voting, marriage, divorce, you know, uh, all that stuff. But let me just give you some stats, folks. This is Iran. And you tell me how you feel about this. Would you be okay living in a country that accepted this? At age seven, girls in Iran are forced to wear headscarves to attend elementary school. They can't go to school if they don't comply. According to the Islamic law, if you kill someone, you have to pay some sort of atonement, blood money, to the family of the victim. You ready for this one? The money you have to pay for killing a woman is half the money you have to pay for a man. Okay, That is in Iran. Women don't have the right to divorce their husbands. They're basically stuck in their marriages as long as possible their husbands want them to be. Men have the rights to divorce their wives whenever they want. Being gay, queer, is illegal. The punishment for death for being gay in Iran is death penalty. Having a dog is illegal. You can't take your dog out for a walk. The police will can literally take away your dog and kill it if that's, they want to. That's true. Crazy. I, I wonder what they do to it. I think if they have a cat, they kill the dog and the cat, and the owner is what they do. <laughs> Everybody they, goes yeah, down. The cat is like, you got to yeah. be careful with that one. They throw a stupid puberty ceremony for us when they turn nine. They brainwash girls with this is a day you turn into a woman at nine years old. They make us wear chador, similar to abaya on that day, and force us to say Islamic prayers. An Iranian man is allowed to have four wives uh, uh, at the same time. Iranian women should be stoned, thrown stones until death if they are proven to have committed infidelity. Partying is illegal. Dancing is illegal. Singing is illegal for women. Women are not allowed to play uh, musical instruments in public. Satellite TV is illegal. You can't go to the beach and sunbathe and swim with your entire family because it's illegal. Young girls are forced into marriages with men they barely know. Girls as young as nine years old are forced into these marriages. Does this sound like a place you want to live in? Does this sound like a not place? Not even a little okay, bit. Now, here's the thing, though. This yeah. is the part. Yesterday, I was doing a podcast with this guy, David, a uh, 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 Jewish guy. Very interesting podcast. He didn't like what Tate stood for, so he's got a big following on Twitter. We did a podcast together. It was very entertaining. And, you know, I said to him, I said, here's the part on why I love everything being public, because ideas, good or bad, Social media makes people listen to what I just read right now, mm -hmm. and some of you may have chills all over your body, and you're saying, that's unfreaking believable. That is horrible. And then the world gets to say, these are horrible ideas, and common sense eventually wins. A conservative woman, prime minister of Italy, who's one of the top socialist countries in the world. Do you remember the COVID breakout in Italy just two and a half years ago? Yeah. What they did with the shutdown? Doesn't the country said, we don't want this. Yeah. You're seeing in Iran, women are out there marching, protesting. I got calls yesterday. I'm talking, trying to do an interview with the Shah's son, Reza Pahlavi. We're talking to Daryush Gugush. We're talking to all these guys to see if we can put on a concert to support with Iran. I'm talking to all these different musicians, these people that are calling me, big name celebrities in the Iranian community. People are saying we're sick of it because bad ideas get exposed. Yep. And that's exactly what's happening in Iran today, which is a great thing. By the way, Elon Musk did activate Starlink for oh, Iran, which I, I think if you ask me all these, you know, the other day uh, uh, Joe Biden gave a humana humanitarian, I think, uh, award to uh, Elton John. Yeah. And I'm sitting there saying, when are you guys going to give a Nobel Prize to Elon Musk? I'm going to keep saying it until yep. these guys realize. You're activating Starlink to give free internet access to places like Iran where we can see exactly what's going on and people can make a decision. Because the that. government shut it's it down, It's a sad situation. Right? What are your thoughts being well, from there um, as well? How do you the, process it? Well, the this? first thing, just on the Elon Musk, because the government shut, shut down the internet, right? That's they right. Told yep. Nobody of course. on the internet. Yes. And, and you, I, you guys will feel me. The first thing when I saw this past, especially because my mom and dad are from Iran, the first thing, I don't know why I jumped to it, is is... The, the people here, especially some of these hardcore feminist women, I go, they don't they don't know nothing about this, right? They complain about how horrible this place is. But think about it. As a woman in the United States, you can go to college. You could have 90 cats. Nobody's going to say shit. You could sleep with everybody on the team. You could get out, become a CEO. You could do whatever. You could go on the streets, march, make out with a girl, take your clothes off, burn the flag, say hashtag kill all men. Nothing happens. This poor girl, her hat was crooked. 
and the morality police. They have fucking morality police. Sorry for my language. Beat her to death. Okay, so anytime I hear anybody complain, especially those feminists about this place, because Pat, you nailed it. They don't know those. They don't. They don't know those stats. And to be honest with you, they don't give a shit. They don't care. So some from now on, and I'm saying this to those people that are just so anti-America. Take a time out. Take a step back. Look what's going on. Nobody knows, bro. They, you, are you mm-hmm. can, You can't have a dog. That's like the least one at all. You can't have. It's illegal to have a dog. You're you're forcing people to wear kids on their heads. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like. It's a perspective. Nobody knows. Yeah. Nobody yeah. cares. Great, uh, great perspective by Vinny, and I appreciate that. I remember when. Remember when Pharrell uh, song came out? Cause happy. I'm happy. happy. Yeah. yeah. And then there was a group of people in Iran that just wanted to be happy yeah. and sing the song. <laughs> we yeah. never heard from them again. Never again. They just wanted to be happy. Yeah. I think to to your point about um, Elon Musk and Starlink and the Nobel Peace Prize. Look, for millennia, what were the three basic necessities that everyone needed to survive? Food, water, shelter, okay? And then over the last couple hundred years, that tri- that, that went to food, water, shelter, money, and resources, right? So it went from three to four. Now, today, food, water, shelter, money, internet access. Inter- How many people are going to survive around the world without internet access? Internet access, I mean, the one thing people in Iran will need, the one thing Elon Musk is bringing to the table with Starlink it's freaking internet, so they can shine a light on what's happening yep. there without it being basically in the dark. Because like you said, nobody knows this kind of stuff. No nine-year-old stuff, this seven-year-old stuff. Nope. No dancing, no being happy. Freaking can't even have a dog. No. <laughs> this is what the mullahs are doing in Iran. Yep. You know, there's an interesting parallel to me here, though, You know, listening to this, because there is a thirst for freedom around the world. You know, we're talking about Iran. We can talk about Italy. There's a thirst for freedom popping up, except here. Except the land of the free. What is happening here? Where is the thirst for freedom here? What I see in the United States is the opposite. What I see is a spoiled, privileged, complacent population. And, you know, it's interesting. You talk about women's rights over there. What Vinny was saying is true. You're talking about re- this is what real discrimination looks like. Thank you. This mm-hmm. is active discrimination. When you talk about women's rights in the United States right now, you know what you talk about? Allowing women to do late-term abortions <laughs> on babies. So we, who's lost here? We are. We are lost. We are a society that we are supposed to be the land of the free. We are supposed to be what other places look to and say, we want to do that. What are we doing? We have a bunch of people in this country, and it's a large segment of the population that is very comfortable with being subservient to authority at all costs. Authority tells you to lock down your business, and you're like, okay. Authority tells you to put a mask on your kid and send them to school, even though there's no data to support it. Okay. Authority tells you to get a mandatory injection that your doctor told you is not good for you. Okay. We just watched that unfold for two years. So there is something wrong here. And, and we, have to, we have to really address that because you can talk about what's going on around the world and everyone says, oh, America is a beacon of liberty. You can't even point to the military anymore. You used to be able to point to the U.S. military and say, the U.S. military has one mission. They have one mission. They have one passion. No, it's a bunch of people watching woke videos that look like they were built for small children. It looks like Blue's Clues. <laughs> You've got the military sitting and watching Blue's Clues for the woke. Yep. So this is a huge problem. And until we face it within ourselves, you know what's going to happen? You're going to wind up seeing freedom fights in other countries that are successful, where they turn around and they say, these policies of the last 20 years, we don't want that anymore. And you're going to have America going backward, big time, where mm-hmm. you have all of these big government advocates squashing freedom and authoritarians are going to rise right to the top. So what happens then? And that's the huge parallel I see, because I'm so tired, honestly, of people saying America, you know, America, land of the free. Where? Where is the freedom? Show me who those freedom fighters are. Republicans in Congress who sat on their asses for the last two years while businesses were shut down and said dip shit about it. Where is it? Show me where those freedom fighters are here because we can't be a beacon for anybody unless we're doing it ourselves and we're not doing it. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.